So today, guys, we're continuing with our interactive component series right now. So this is the second video for interactive components. And now we're talking about increments and how to animate this incremental plus and minus inter interactive button, okay? So it's fairly simple to do. And let's just, just jump into it, actually. So now, as usual, I have created these assets for you to actually work on. So let's, so the reasoning behind the background on this one, there's a background on this component here and then this one is because if you prototype this one and you'll be clicking the minus sign, it's, it's really small, right? So you need to have a background on them. So if you want like a transparent background, this one, you can just have the same fill on the background or just zero, make it zero. But yeah, just have something big behind small icons to like click them so that it will be hard and you won't embarrass yourself if you're presenting. Okay. So what we're first going to do is we're going to create these two as components, this one and this one. So let's go create that real quick. Component. There's a component, there's a component. So these two are in our components. And then what we're going to do is, in our example, we're just going to create 0 to about 3, I guess. 1, 2, and 3. There we go. So that is the increment. So we're going to click on plus. It will plus 1, plus, plus 2, plus 3, or minus. It's going to decrement okay we're just gonna create this lovely square that we'll use for a mask so let's place it below and then select them both and then right click use mask there we go and now we have masked them be sure to, to group them okay also after masking and now we have this one. So the animation will go like this. One, two, three, two, one, zero. Like that. So you get the idea of the animation right now. So what we're going to do is just, we're just going to create a component and create some variants. That's what we're going to do. Let's just place it like that. We're going to do a auto layout. For all of you guys who likes a little layout, okay? Let's just do this. <laughs> and we're going to align it like this. So we have the red line there as a guide for the rulers. Again, I'm going to just delete this one. Let's align it so that the uh, numbers will be aligned properly later. And we're going to create a component. So this auto layout thing is now going to be a component. Boom, there's a component right now. And we're going to create a variant. So a new variant. Just click the plus sign there. And that's a new variant right now. So we're going to create like two more, I guess. Zero, one, two, and three. There we go. We're going to arrange it like this so that it's much more aligned. Okay, let's just extend the frame. And then the variant. And create and select the variant two. Just arrange them a bit like that, like so. Align them, just regroup. And we're gonna move the numbers, okay? So this second variant, we're gonna double click until we reach the number. So now we have reached the number layer inside the mask. We're just gonna move it using the arrow keys, okay? And be sure that it is aligned properly. I need to move the red layer. The red line, I mean. So I think that's aligned properly. So that it will not be looking like janky on the animation, okay? So this one. So double click until you reach the text area. And then use your arrow keys. I'm using shift, up, or down. So make it increment faster. And then if I reach like number two, I'm just gonna let go of shift and just increment and slower like that. 
So double click until I reach the text layer and then shift up, make it faster until I hit three and just release shift, shift and increment it slower there. So now that's aligned. As you can see there, just adjust the frame like that. Ah, oh, I have too many gas. I ate a lot of chicken. So now we're just gonna prototype this one. So prototype like that on this prototype tab. And we're gonna double click on the plus sign until we reach the plus sign component and click on the plus here and to create a new doll to the next variant. So it's gonna be smart animate, ease out, change to the second variant. So on click, it's gonna change into the second variant and it, it will do a smart animate, like what, what I presented there. It will slide to the number one spot, okay? And then do this on the next one, on the next one, then do this the last one. So we're gonna decrement if it is minus. So we're gonna create another noodle, double click until you reach the component there and decrement it here. So it is, it will be on click actually. Why is it on drag low? Oh, I'm gonna delete this first. It will be on click, smart animate ease out. So this one, uh, drag the noodle on the one, on click, smart animate ease out. And then the last one, on click, change to the previous number and ease out like that. So now we're just gonna arrange them properly right now. So this, I need these guys. There we go. And what we're gonna do is gonna duplicate this first, first variant, okay? So we're gonna double click until we reach the first variant here. And we're just gonna Alt, click and drag so that we can use it. Now it's an instance, instance of this one. So now we're gonna replace these things. Just gonna replace it. Like uh so. Is it aligned? <laughs> I don't see if it is aligned. So I'm just gonna delete some things here. Mm, I need a red line. There we go. That's aligned. And now if you're gonna click the plus sign, it will increment like that. And if you're going to click the minus sign, it will direct decrement like that. There we go. Pretty neat and pretty easy. Okay. So I hope uh, we're going to actually review it. <laughs> we're going to actually review it again. Okay. So what we did there is number one, be sure that you have a background for your plus and minus sign. Okay. And then create them as a component if you want to but be sure to have a background on it so that it will be easier to click, okay? And then what we did there is we just mask the numbers, one, two, whatever number you want to increment to. And we just move the numbers inside the mask while we're incrementing, incrementing or decrementing. And we just applied a smart animate prototype interaction there. If we click on plus or minus, like that. So fairly easy to do, fairly simple. We're just using variants and interactive components in Figma. Again, it's just sad that it is not free. If this is free, the variant is just available for pro, pro plans in Figma. So for free plans, it's just sad that it's not it's not available for free plans, okay? Because this is actually very fun and it just saves a lot of screens for your prototyping. If you're a demo kind of guy, you just you should just buy Figma. I'm not simping for them, but yeah, if you you enjoy demoing using Figma, you just have to buy them. Because component variants, the the interactive components are just powerful, a powerful thing. And imagine if they would like add a feature someday that this instance is gonna be like connected to this instance. 
Like you can just mask it off. Like it will be like this, right? You can just mask it off like this. Right. Back here. Mm, use mask like that. And gonna say uh, total count. Uh, like that. If this is like connected to this instance, now it. Now it's just detached, right? So if you minus this one, it won't, it will, it is actually, this one is unique, this one is unique. If we have like something that can actually connect these two, so that if I'm gonna click on, there will be like two zeros there. If I click on plus, it will be like count one, and then total count will be also one. I guess that's. I guess it's achievable someday. Someday Figma, someday. Okay. Again, I hope you have learned something for today and be sure to leave a like on this video or even share it with your friends. Smile. So, yep. Be sure you're safe guys. Stay safe everyone and have a good one.